Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We just crowned a national champion just a couple days ago with Alabama beating Georgia, and we've already got the uh, log, excuse me, the odds out for next year to win the championship. Uh, the championship will be played in Levi Stadium, Santa Clara, California. And no surprise, the 5-2 to two favorite is Alabama to repeat. Second choice is the Clemson Tigers, 6-1. to one. Ohio State at 8-1. to one. Michigan at 10-1. to one. That one surprises me a little bit that they're up there that high, or that low, I should say. Georgia at 8-1 to one and rounded out with Penn State at 12-1. to one. Guys, when you look at these, um, you know, making a bet a year in advance, obviously, tying up your money, you got to see some true value that you want to jump in this early. Um, there's going to be off-season transfers uh, from teams and that that's going to change the complexion of some teams. Obviously, uh, there could be some transfers at the couple of the teams near the top, Alabama and Georgia, after what we saw with the uh, quarterback play this season. I'll go with you first, Preston, because I know you did make a bet on one of these. I did, and I had, I had glanced at all of the numbers Westgate put up earlier that day before Bama and Georgia even played. And I even have a text. I, I was messaging someone. I said, oh, Bama at plus 250. Oh, that's probably about right. It's usually between two and 300 in August. And look at all the other ones. And, and Ralph even mentioned right before this video, generally, they're probably all kind of too low. Just it's, it's more to, to get the numbers up and let people that are, always, that are in town for NFL playoffs or for the college football national championship to get down early if they'd like. The only one I really looked at, I was really stoked to check out, was I, I, Scott Frost is that good. And I wanted to back Nebraska at 200 to one. They're in the West in the Big Ten, which is good. You can lose a game if you beat Wisconsin. You can get to the Big Ten title. Maybe you win a game there, and then you're in the playoff at 200 to one. They have the toughest schedule in the country. They pick. They get Ohio State and Michigan State and Penn State out of the East, and then they have to play Wisconsin, Northwestern, and Iowa, the next three best teams in the West, all on the road. So I didn't do that. I stayed away. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's that's fine. Then we watched the Alabama game. And Tua, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name yet. I haven't heard it enough to be correct. Maybe one of you guys know. I've heard it four different ways okay. that night. That's what I had, to I'd, I'd heard two different ways a lot, and so I didn't want to guess. But Tua, I said before this season, I thought this Alabama team this year could be the best ever because I thought Jalen Hurts brought a dynamic with his feet that generally Alabama quarterbacks never have. And they're already winning half the time anyways mm -hmm. with their defense, with saving everything, the Alabama culture. I was wrong. Jalen Hurts wasn't very good. He was. He threw, what, 18 or 19 touchdowns and one interception, but he never brought the electricity that I really anticipated the Alabama offense could have. Tua did, and he did it in one half in the national championship against a Georgia defense that's pretty good. I think, it, imagine Tua's going to be the guy next year now. I, I feel bad for Jalen Hurts. Uh, assuming Tua is, I gambled that he will be. I think they're going to be plus 150 come August, and so I ran down and I had all the money on me took the plus 250 with Bama. I had $20 left, and I actually homer bet Chip Kelly, UCLA, <laughs> 100 to 1. I threw 20 bucks on UCLA. But my main, my main bet is Bama. I think it's about a dollar of value. We saw this year, last thing, I know we need to move to rough yeah. stuff. They can lose a game, not even play in the SEC title game championship, and still get into the playoff. So there's still like room for mistake. Yeah. And they get Auburn at home this time in a revenge spot where they lost last year. The schedule, they don't have to play a USC or Florida State to open. The schedule sets up really nicely, too. Good luck with that homer bet on UCLA. Yeah, it's, it's looking I, good. I think, <laughs> I think looking at Bama's schedule next year, I mean, they are, they are a 17-point favorite in every game till, till Auburn. At LSU is the only other one that's yeah, – And that would yeah. maybe double digits. I mean, yeah, they, it could be. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I mean, but, yeah, I agree. And that's what you got to look for when you're looking at these. You know, you got to look at returning starters, obviously. Um, I will have returning starters out in about three weeks. We'll have an early update on nice. returning starters. Um, and, and two things, and again, I'm not a big fan of these props because, you know, the only way that there's true value is if you could bet that the team doesn't make the playoffs, and you can't do that in this situation. So while you're laying a little bit, I'll throw out two that I like early. Florida State at 40-1, to 1, you know, Jimbo just under undercoached. I mean, we saw it at Texas, you know, with Mac Brown. We saw it at, at Florida State. He gets so much talent. They have Virginia Tech, Clemson, and Florida at home. Their road games are Notre Dame and Miami, and they're 40 to 1. So they're the talent. They have everyone coming back. They have the new coaching staff. They have the energy. I like them. And another one that I think people will just automatically throw out. Now, they're only 18 to 1, 
but that's Oklahoma with Baker Mayfield gone. But, you know, Kyler Murray was the number one quarterback out of high school, had three starts at Texas A&M. They come back loaded. They don't play in Ohio State on the road this year. Their toughest non-conference game is UCLA at home where there's no Josh Rosen and a new coach on a tough road spot. And they have Oklahoma State at home. So is he the quarterback that played a little bit this year? He made that one start yeah. when he got to for the first quarter. Yes. He's yeah. really, really fast and he can throw the ball well, too. I, actually, I think that's a really good play. He just went through that a and M situation where they went through yeah. those three quarterbacks and they all got shuffled out and he got transferred. So I like it. Uh, you know, I, I think Oklahoma at 18 to one, Florida State 40 to one are my two where I do see a little bit of value if you want to take a flyer. Michigan at 10 to one. Is that that's is this, Jim Harbaugh? This is their year that if I think since they got Harbaugh, this was what it was all building up to is this season as far as recruiting, getting his guys. And they were really young this season. They got Shea Patterson now from uh, Ole Miss transferring over to play quarterback. So now they have an actual quarterback. This is it, though. I mean, I think if it doesn't work this year, I don't think they're going to fire Harbaugh, but it's kind of I think that Harbaugh train will start dying. The best Twitter feed I saw during the championship game was Jim Harbaugh will be sleeping at. Jalen Hurst house in the morning. <laughs> <for a transfer. laughs> I hadn't seen that. Good, good yeah. stuff, guys. Uh, hey, guys, if you want to get a three day all access package at Wager Talk, it's great. Grab the weekend, get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just $59. Pick your favorite capper, grab his all access package, and you won't miss a play the entire weekend. And, guys, if you like these videos, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to share it with your friends. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.